What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Resistance Band King is back for yet another one. We're going to do a back workout with the bands today. Stay tuned. Check it out. All right, so when you're talking about back, you got rows, you got pull downs, and you got pull overs. Three basic moves for your back, your lat development, all that good stuff, right? All right, so. Number one, we're gonna start with pull downs. Again, you're gonna to have to anchor yourself. If you can see my bands here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the heaviest one, the hardest one, to start with. We'll see if we have to add any intensifying techniques to that. All right, so you throw yourself over anchor here. And in order to do a pull down, I'm gonna to have to get on my knees or I'm gonna to have to sit like so and then pull them down. If you're working out at home, I imagine you're going to have to do the same thing. Anchor yourself up on something and then squat down, sit down, so you can get full range of motion. Alright, this is a little bit easy, so how are we going to make it harder? We're going to add another band. Right? In order to make this efficient, it's got to be hard enough to create stimulus, right? Right. All right. So you want to stretch here, pull them down and squeeze here. Now we're working. Before with just the one band, it was a bit too easy. But now we're working here. You want to pull with your lats right here and squeeze that back. Stretch them out at the top. All right. Good. Just like so. Now you're working at home, you can also do pull-ups, but right now we're doing a band workout. So pull-downs with the bands. If they're too easy, double them up. Stay tuned for the next one. All right, so the next one, we did some pull-downs to start. We're gonna do some rows next. So again, I got my double band here because I think one is gonna be too easy. So I'm not even gonna try to start with one. I'm gonna go ahead and start with two. And with this one, all right, you're gonna have to take a staggered stance, like so. Anchor yourself so you can row and squeeze that back. Stretch it out here, and then squeeze it here, just like so. All right? Get a good base. If you're standing up here, it's gonna be real hard to counterbalance that. So stagger your stance so you can get a good stretch here, and a good squeeze on the lats, right? Just like so. Again, if this is too easy or you don't have two bands, let's say I only have one, you can stretch this thing out more to make it harder. Just again, be cautious. Do not snap your band. Right? <laughs> right. All right. So band pull downs and then band rows. Stay tuned for the band pullovers. So the first two are compound movements. You're really using a lot of muscles. Pullovers really try to isolate. They don't completely, but they try to isolate your lats. So you're gonna have to do a little less weight. It's a little bit harder. So I got a little bit easier band here. Again, you're gonna anchor it up on something. If you don't have anything, go outside and put it around the tree, like I said in the last video. All right, the pullover. You want to pull with this muscle here, your lat. Pull it straight down and then stretch it out just like so. I'm showing you one arm, but obviously you're going to do this with two arms. Bend forward a little bit so you can stretch that lat out. Pull it down and squeeze. Keep the tension on the lat as you come back up. Stretch them. Pull them down and squeeze. Now this is pretty easy, but instead of grabbing another band, I'm just going to take a step back. Make it a little bit harder. So stretch in here, squeeze here, keep tension on the lat the entire time, especially on the negative, which is coming back up right here. Keep that tension on the lat. Stretch them and then squeeze. The key to this one again is to make sure you're pulling with this lat, like so. You might feel some tricep but try to pull with that lat as much as you can. All right, stay tuned. 
Stay tuned for the next one. All right, next up on your band back workout, band complete back workout, we're going to do some unilateral work. So we're going to do one arm rows now. Remember the tie off technique here. Put your handle through your handle, cinch it up nice and tight there. Now there's a couple different ways you can do these rows. I like to do a thumb up grip and row like so. Again, you're gonna have to stagger your stance so you can put enough resistance on there, like so. Another way you can do it, if you wanna hit your lower lats more, turn your hand so your underhand and pull it like so. Stretch here, pull and squeeze here, right? I like the thumb up grip when I'm doing this. Either one is good, just targets different areas of the back, All right? Six to ten, and then again on this side, six to ten. On this one, we could add another band, but I can stretch it out a little bit more, make it harder. Just like so. All right, and again, the key to this one is to pull with your lat. Just like so. All right, stay tuned, we got one more. All right, the last exercise on your complete band back workout, we're gonna do a low row. I'm gonna sit on the bench. If you don't have a bench, it's okay to sit on the floor somewhere, do your low rows. In order to do a low row, you gotta find a low anchor, right? So we're gonna anchor right here. You got your low row, sit here. And you're just gonna row to your lats, just like so. To help with mind and muscle connection, you wanna act like there's a pencil between your shoulder blades. When you pull back, you wanna squeeze that pencil. See how my chest comes up? And I squeeze in the back there, just like so. It's a little bit of a different angle than the standing rows, hitting different parts of your back and give it a little more volume to this workout. So just make sure you're stretching here and squeezing here. Blow those lats up, y'all. You can see the bench here. To make this harder, I can move back. I don't need to get a harder band because this is pretty tough right here. When you can see the bench to counter yourself, you put your feet right here, just don't hit the wheels. <laughs> Row here. Stretch them here, just like so. All right. All right, y'all, blow your back up. Go ahead and do this workout. For each exercise, three to four sets, six to 10 reps. Make sure that 10th rep is hard. You're struggling to get that 10th rep, right? So we started with pull downs on the anchor up there. Pull them down, use your lats. Then we did standing rows, anchor here, just like so. And then the pullovers, we try to isolate your lats there. Then we did unilateral work, one arm rows. Again, you anchor off the pole, stretch and squeeze. And then we did a seated low row. Low anchor, you can sit on the floor if you need to, stretch and squeeze those lats. All right, y'all, give it a try. Blow your lats up. For more videos like this, check out our back videos or our band video playlist. 88 Fitness, like and subscribe.